I destroy my body. I must destroy the other symbol. Welcome back to another episode on BO Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a preview look at a new Sega Genesis game with Life on Earth Reimagined. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. With many indie developers still making Sega Genesis games today, there have been so many games taking advantage of the retro 16-bit hardware and pushing it even further than ever thought. I was actually already amazed with Shredder's Re-Revenge, but here comes another side-scrolling action game from the developers of Kai Magazine Software. Kai Magazine Software is a small group of Spanish indie developers who prioritize in retro consoles and PC bringing back classic style games with their own twist. The developers brought classics like Capcom's Mercs with Metal Dragon and side-scrolling shooters with Life on Mars. Specifically with Life on Earth Reimagined is in the same exact style like Life on Mars, but really pushes the visuals to a new level. Bringing inspiration from 2D games like Contra to Rolling Thunder, this game really seems to take the best of 2D side-scrollers into a cyberpunk themed world. Life on Earth Reimagined is developed by Kai Magazine Software and looks to be released in fall of 2023 for the Sega Genesis. This preview is taken from a free demo online that you can download and try the game out yourself. I emulated the game using RetroArch on my Retroid Pocket 3. The plot is a side story of Life on Mars, where bacteria was sent to Earth and somehow bypassed all security measures and was caught too late that mutated humans to have superhuman strength but with uncontrollable rage. There are two samples that infected our heroine as well. Before she kills herself, she must destroy the other sample so that no one else will be infected. The visuals here look great for the system. With only one level to try out, you can tell very quickly the cyberpunk theme is alive and well. There is so much parallax scrolling going on here, it's incredibly hard not to let your eye wander while playing. A lot of design and detail went into this game and it really shows. The gameplay is fun, but this game is harder than you think. You can't merely run and gun like a typical Contra style or Gunstar Heroes type game. You definitely need to take your time as everything hurts you so easily. You'll find yourself dying multiple times, even on easy if you don't take care into how you move forward. With the visuals nice and detailed, it can be very, very busy that you lose track of multiple enemies on screen and bullets flying every which way. You will have some power-ups to your weapons as well as close melee attacks. I did love the different options and differences in the guns that helped play into how you would fight in different areas of the game. My biggest con here is losing the bullets with the backgrounds from time to time. That makes the game that much more challenging overall. Although there was voices and sound, it was hard to make out at times with the limited tech on the Sega Genesis, but I was very surprised that the developers even pushed for it makes the scope of the game that much more ambitious. My name is Dr. Zira Kantharo. I am recording these memories so the truth can be known. The news are saying I am a terrorist. Although a very small sample size, I can't wait to see the finished product. The game looks to be a winner for retro gaming community for its very nice visual flair and hardcore gameplay. A game I'm looking forward to seeing more of, and nice to see the good old Genesis still pumping out some fantastic games even today. That's it for this preview look at Life on Earth Reimagined for the Sega Genesis. 
please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and Greg. Take us out of here, and I will see you all in the next upload. Damn. Uh. Yeah.